This is Jupiter Today for the 14th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Today is Pi Day, and it's a special Pi Day in that it's the 14th of March, 2015. That's 31415 which are the first five decimals of the value of pi. So all you math nerds out there, this is a special day for all of us. Today there's five Jupiter satellite events and two mutual satellite events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is still in quadrant 1 heading east, but very near its eastern elongation, going to be moving into quadrant 2 heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant 1 heading east, and Callisto spends all day in quadrant 2 heading west. At 6 hours UTC, EO is near its eastern elongation and going to be moving into quadrant Two, heading west, joining Europa and Callisto. And from 7.50 UTC to 8.10 UTC, EO eclipses Ganymede. That's a 20.1 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.097 arc seconds. So that's a very deep eclipse, 0.805 magnitude drop. And it's a good distance away from Jupiter as well, 141.97 arc seconds. And Eo and Ganymede are 36.37 arc seconds apart. The visibility for this event is Western North America, the Pacific, and that includes you folks over in Hawaii. At 11.30 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 677,325.1 kilometers. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 2 heading west. And from 12.19 to 12.27 UTC, Europa eclipses Ganymede. That's a 7.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.73 arc seconds, a very shallow eclipse, a 0.123 magnitude drop, but it's a good distance away from Jupiter, 183.65 arc seconds. Europa and Ganymede are 47.3 arc seconds apart. And the visibility for this is the Western Pacific, East Asia, and Australia. And at 12.25 UTC, EO goes through a perigeove, and that's the closest it's going to get to Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 420,038.4 kilometers. At 17.06 UTC, EO begins its transit of Jupiter, and at 17.54, the shadow of EO ingresses, and by 18 hours UTC, EO is indeed transiting and going to be moving into quadrant 3, heading west. At 1923 UTC, the transit of EO ends. At 2012 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. And at 2306 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is now firmly in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa is transiting, Ganymede still in quadrant 1, heading east, and Callisto still in quadrant 2, heading west, but very, very soon going to be transiting Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to the Earth, and this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. These are the same orbits that you just saw, Eo, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. And these are just the temporal 
connections between those two. So here's the connection between EO and Europa. You can see how symmetrical that's going to be today. Here's EO and Ganymede. And EO and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of those. And we get that for today. And today I'm not showing the paths of the orbits in this image. Just showing the image itself. Just showing just the connections. So 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter just above the clouds. And this is what we'd see if we rotated with Jupiter over the next 24 hours. goes EO in front of Europa. EO will catch up to Callisto and pass by it, but we won't be seeing that at this longitude. There's EO, we just caught it transiting there. And there goes Europa and its transit towards the end of the day. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 210, the second at 1206, and the third at 2201 UTC. There were many new images posted. been interested in watching this little feature here. There it is again. Some interesting atmospheric events going on there. And there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, four minutes, 39.1 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 44 minutes, 14.8 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today is 140.529 degrees, and that's 1.077 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 6.793 degrees, and that's 0.158 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth 
is 678,910,473 kilometers, and that's 1,510,797 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 62,949.88 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,460.96 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,295,102 kilometers. And that's 44,775 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,865.63 kilometers per hour. And that's 2.08 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 273.64 degrees. CM2, 19.77 degrees. CM3, 297.67 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.32 UTC on Pi Day, the 14th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing and watching. Make sure to tell everyone you know about this podcast. I'm trying to give a number of different perspectives on the very dynamic Jupiter system, trying to encourage observations as much as possible. So you can send your images or comments and questions and suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.